Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to walk you through the basics of using an Excel file like this one here with a couple of simple fields to create a Power App. Now this same thing will work for online Excel files like shared documents and things of that nature or SharePoint lists, but we're going to keep it very simple because I do have another video which I will link in the description showing more customizations and options. But we're just going to do the simple basics and show you how quick you can do this. So we're going to go to Power Apps, click Start with Data, and from here we will choose our CSV, and then click Create. Now you'll need to have your file with a table, so you can't just import any Excel file. You need to make sure that it's contained in a table. The video in the description will show more detail on that. Basically, we will wait for our data, which is right here, and we'll click Create App. Now, once this is done, the basics of the app is really just there and functional. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. So you'll see that it loads and we can click the preview option and basically immediately test out the application once it has fully loaded. So in this case, you'll see that it did give our data source a new name. So you may want to make a note of what the new table looks like, but we do have the actual preview that's available right here. So if we click this button here, when we click the various options, you'll see that all the data is here. We can click the edit button to choose from different statuses, change the options here, and we can make updates. And then those options will be reflected here. And when we close the application, when we look at the data, so for example, if we look at this input here and we look at our project status by clicking here, we can expand the table and see the updates and changes that have been made. So we have a fully functional app. We can save it and choose the publish option. So the publish option should auto save it. And then when we publish, basically we can go ahead and start sharing this application with whatever uh, platform you've decided to use. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.